uh, I tried very hard to put at least my version of Graziano on the screen. They accused me of, of imitating Marlon Brando. Uh, subsequently, I don't know, a year later or so, Rocky and I were sitting around drinking beer together, and um, I mentioned Marlon's name, and he said, oh, that's one of the stories that I forgot to tell you. I kept noticing when I was sparring that there was this kid that was sitting there with a sketch pad and so forth, and he kept watching me for a year, and we chatted, this or that. I never knew the kid, never knew what he was doing. Said he was an actor. I thought he was a spear carrier in some Shakespearean production. What do I know? Finally, uh, I didn't see him for a long time, and he came back and said, I'd like you to come and see this production that I'm doing on Broadway. And I said, uh, well, sure, what are you, a musical? What is it, you know? Well, it was Streetcar Named Desire. And what had happened, of course, that Marlon and I had both the same basic character that we were dealing with. He had taken uh, Rocky and put him up on the stage in the streetcar, and I'd put him up on the screen, and somebody up there likes me.